Hello, everybody. Holy shit. Like, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for the 1,000 subscribers. When I first started this channel, I never imagined that I would get here, honestly. Been working on this channel for almost three years. And I would have been lucky, you know, enough to get to 500 subscribers. And when I did that, I was like, I think I can get it higher than that. And I think I can grow and build a community that's bigger than that, too, as well, too. And we made it to 1K. So I wanted to make a very special video for you all. It's a mixture between the end of life slash Q&A slash uh, a little bit of pretty much everything. Kind of has like a little bit of showing kind of behind the scenes of how I edit some videos and stuff like that. And yeah, just just jump right into the video. All right, we're up. Let's just get started with the day. All right, today I ordered some coffee. I'm already sitting up here. I'm working on today's video that I'm editing, obviously. Um, yeah, this is pretty much set up. Nothing fancy. Pretty straightforward. So we're gonna start working on this, and I'll see you all in a little bit. And you know. I am a legion main. Of course I'm gonna whiff. I am a steep. I am a steep main. Of course I'm gonna pick him for his... Bro, for real? I am a legion main. Of course I'm gonna... All right, buddy, please, please. I'm I, I'm trying wherever the hell you are. I'm trying to make a video, okay? Please, stop yelping. I am a legion main. Of course I'm gonna... Ah, ah. Is this thing on? Okay, so I'm not used to recording like vlogs or anything like that, so I'm kind of just trying to learn this as I go, obviously, because a lot of you ask for what seems like, you know, kind of a day in the life or whatnot. I don't, I'm not a big fan of usually those, but I wanted to make it for you guys. So, of course, um, we just finished recording some of the videos that are shorts for the I Am, of course, kind of series that I've been doing that is DVD related. So it's been fun to doing that, obviously. Um, I'm excited for it because it's been doing very well so far. So I recorded a couple videos. I recorded the Wesker main, the Legion main, Twins main, Survivor part two. By the time this video comes out, maybe some of them, those will be out depending on how fast we get to 1K. And the Steve main as well too, which is a very fun one. So you need to stay tuned for that one as well too. I'm gonna show you my process of how I edit those things as well too with the green screen behind me that I use. Obviously this is the green screen that I use. It's the Logato one that I got from one of my last um, work full-time jobs that I had specifically that were at a startup. They gave it to me for free, included. I they never asked for it back, so I kept it. I've been using it a little bit now, so yeah. All right, so we're here. We're gonna start editing this video, obviously. This is the first one. I can't remember which one this, is, this one is, but let me see. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna I cut. Wesker, man. Of course I'm gonna pop his camp to hook. It's a Wesker main video, so we're just gonna edit this. And yeah. I'll catch you. You can just watch the time lapse. I'm gonna take one off my camera because I don't want you to see like all my, you know. I don't look. It doesn't look too interesting to watch me um my face edit. It's kind of boring. But you can see a little bit time lapse of editing this video. So I'll see you on the other side. I'm using a green screen. Uh, I do want to find an image of RPD that is not completely garbage. Um, so we'll see what we can find. Some of these are obviously very small, and I could go into Blender and render out um, one of the images from it, but it just seems kind of I don't know, a little bit too time-consuming for something that it's very simple and it's on the background. It's not like it's a whole thumbnail or anything like that. It's just just background for a video. I don't want to spend more than I have to on it, obviously. And it's not because I'm like, oh, it doesn't, it's not worth it. It's just people aren't going to notice that. People are paying attention to the, you know, the stuff that is on the on the forefront, if, if that makes sense. Uh, so we're going to drag this in. The problem with this, this is my, so my computer's a mess, as you can see. Um, yeah, it makes it a bit in the ass. Uh, that regard, but it's all good. We're going to do this. We might have to adjust some of the green, some of the mask. Yeah, we're going to have to adjust that, but... 
The good thing about it is that we can fix that. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna find Wesker's chase music, right? Wesker DVD chase music. There's a lot of um, channels that have it. Um, yeah, so. Perfect, kind of long, but we got it. So I use 4K Downloader. It's the, one of the best ones I can find. To be honest, it's reliable enough. Um, I'm gonna download the audio, right? Uh, Wesker, she's music, so I don't lose it. The reason I do this is to add a little bit of, you know, dynamics, like dynamics to it, I guess you could say, to the whole video. Um, specifically, a specific killer main video i do want to have that and, and i want to give a shout out to speedy shark 20 on youtube my good friend speedy uh for that idea of using the the, the chase music on these videos he's also a youtuber so i'll link his channel down below the portrait we got the music somewhere Chase. Let's go chase music. Okay. So now we can complete this video. And pretty much, I'm not going to show you how, how I edit all the videos. It's kind of more to show you how I edit these videos specifically. So the next time you see me after I'm done editing this video, it will most likely be doing something else or maybe doing the QA. So we'll see. Writing this, this whole thing and combining it into one compact clip so I can recolor it as well, too. Um, we're just gonna add also, I did that because I'm trying to put this underneath and I did not add it. I'm gonna add this underneath. Basically, it's a little, little Easter egg in the back. I'm trying to see where I can fit it. Thinking maybe putting it up here. It's always here and people know what the hell I'm talking about. Also kind of gives, you know, a more like, it's for people to look at. Wesker, I mean, of course I'm gonna talk to Captain Hook. I am a Wesker man, of course I'm gonna come back to the Hulk to talk to him. I am a boost your audio a bit. The other thing I want to add is um, the Red uh, logo. I forgot to add it to some of the other ones. Forgive me, please. Okay, so now this is easy to do this. We can add this here. Pull it here. And then we can just do that and put it right above the Wesker name. That way it's like, you know, there's something to it. All right, so the last thing, the last piece of the puzzle for these videos, obviously there's one more step left before we can actually post it. Is their website called sawmagic.co. I started using it for the first video. It worked pretty well. And I've been using it ever since. It kind of adds a little bit of like subtitles, some like little emojis and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a little bit of, um, you know, dynamic or like um, fluidity too, I guess you could say. And I'm also enjoying my coffee. This is also a mug from the Mystic Museum in Burbank, the 90s Slasher. It's my mug that I use every day. You've probably seen it in my videos. If you have it, then you probably will see it from now on, probably after I, I, I just showed it to you. So we're gonna export this video. I export it as a YouTube video quote, you know, because it's easier to do that. I'm gonna do Wesker main edit because it's not finished, so we don't want to get confused with like whether it's finished or not. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna export this. I'm gonna work with some magic, and then after that, it will be done. We can post it on TikTok, and by the time the video comes out, you will see this one and a couple other more. So yeah, think about this. It automatically, you know, gets most of the captions pretty much. Uh, I don't know, to like 90-ish, something 95% accuracy, which is pretty solid, honestly. Um, it does help me a lot because I'm just one person. I don't have any editors. So I don't have anybody right now working for me or anything like that. I used to have someone who used to do my thumbnails. Uh, I don't do that anymore either. So I do it myself too. All of it, all of this stuff you see in my, ch in, in my channel, all is done by me. Legend says I have my partner. She helps me out with, some of the, with, the, with the scripting. My partner, she helps me out with the scripting for Legend Says because I am not a writer in that sense. Okay, 
the whisker, man. Of course I'm gonna fuck to cast the hook. I so you see how this is like 92%. Yeah. I'm gonna have to adjust this, but I'll see you on the other side when I'm done with here. All right, now it's exporting. I'll see you all in the next section of the video. All right, we're out. Taking a little break. Taking the dog out. Yeah, it's so usually good to take you know some breaks in between here and there, so it's you're not so like you know zoned out in the computer and exhausted from your eyes. It's still raining today, which is rare for LA, but here we are. We're you know palm trees and everything. All right, it's about like 2 p.m. We're doing some errands out, so let's have to check in. Kind of getting towards the end of my day usually when I do stuff and then kind of after that I kind of chill out. So obviously, as you saw, I ended up editing, recording all that stuff. And yeah, pretty much had to go out. So we're out right now, headed back home. And probably when I get back, I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit. It's raining. I don't feel like doing much else. It's also Saturday. So I kind of want to take it easy for the rest of the evening. But yeah, I do want to thank you everybody for, you know, for stopping by and whatnot and for, you know, being in this journey. And we're going to jump right into the Q&A, which will be recorded, obviously, and I'll see you then. So, so now that you have watched all of that video, obviously, and, I, and if you did, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do the Q&A. And one of the biggest questions that I had was, how did I get into content creation? And I guess that's kind of like a long-winded answer in, in, in that regard. Because I graduated college. I graduated around like August, September-ish of 2019. And I was looking for a job. I managed to get this um, job soon after that was with a startup um we and then i was doing it was an internship and i was managing and helping kind of with the influencer marketing side of their of their company so basically i was just helping kind of like facilitate the communication between the brands and the influencers and making sure that they got paid and whatnot and also i was also editing stuff for them as well too for some of the influencers that we worked with as well too when they couldn't edit certain things or certain um clips uh, certain social media posts i was doing that so that's kind of i guess how i got into content creation originally it was through work while i was working there then the pandemic hits so i was at home you know pretty much all day but while i was working at the influencer marketing company i was also creating carousels and i got, got a pretty good growth on that i got one instagram account to about five thousand um followers and i was averaging about i don't know like 80 to 100 likes in that account i just got exhausted with it also the community can be kind of toxic in that area to 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 the end degree and very um inauthentic very not honest i guess you can say so i kind of got fed up with that and i started streaming uh due to my friends uh, manny speedy david and all those people that that i love and i played day by day on a weekly basis and everybody else like uh, adrian brian all those people amazing people so I started playing with all of them. I started playing also with some of their their friends. Originally Fortnite, then they got me into Dead by Daylight. Then we started playing Dead by Daylight on a weekly basis, and I started streaming um, games here and there. So I was primarily streaming on Twitch, a different account that I don't even stream anymore. I primarily now stream with my partner sometimes here and there. 
um that's kind of the beginning of that right and then soon after um i people kept telling me why didn't you start a youtube channel and i was like i guess i can start a youtube channel i was never fond of like doing um like planned videos I was doing live streaming and I got used to that. And I know some people are like, oh, but you did live streaming. That's much harder than doing YouTube videos, especially if you script them or if you're like, you know, just playing a game and whatnot. So I was like, I'll give it a shot. Why not? So I sort of, I, I didn't fully scale down. I just was using, at the, like at the beginning, I was just literally taking clips from my streams. It was just that. Very simple. The channel was called Antonio in Horror. So it's horror, horror games. And Antonio in Horror was the spinoff of Antonio with Tech, which was a tech review channel that i had prior to that and if you must know i also had a different youtube channel that nobody no, not many people knew about because i only did it for like a month or two and i just got exhausted with it it was kind of like a documentary style i guess youtube channel i'm not gonna tell you what it is i'm gonna maybe i will maybe i'll link it down below and you can go check it out if you want to see my older videos and stuff like that so all those things obviously like uh, they're part of my kind of journey as a content creator company that I worked at to um the carousels to the videos that I did to the podcast that I had yes I had a podcast at one point I mean why I did of course I want to have a podcast um but yeah like I had a podcast and I I streamed a lot on Twitch and yeah I was affiliate on Twitch as well too um then I moved to YouTube from scratch I'm like I'm gonna start a YouTube channel it's called Antonio and Horror, as I said. And then soon after that, um, I, it, it's kind of started evolving, obviously. Like, it was primarily just clips and stuff like that edited. But I was like, I want more than that. I want it to be something that is special, something that I'm recording stuff for YouTube and that is original content for that. So I started like, kind of downsizing on the streaming part of it and started creating content solo for the YouTube channel. And that's kind of how this started. And here we are now, two and a half years, almost three years later. Um, yeah, now we have that by the light content, which is one of the original things that I post that I created. And going back to the roots of playing indie horror games, which, which was something that I started with very, very frequently because there were easy, easier videos to record just because it's just you just sit down once and you play the game and you edit the footage and that's it. You don't have to worry about like finding a build or doing this and that but i love both and i i enjoy and people obviously enjoy the the by the light um builds and i do too as well too for killer specifically so that's kind of where i have been at the last couple months and that has been very fulfilling for me at least so this is kind of the story of how i got into content creation it's kind of a weird long-winded and i didn't script it so this is how i talk when i don't script stuff um i can be a little bit rambly and whatnot. So I hope it makes sense. I'm going to edit it in a way that it makes sense because, you know, the magic of editing can make anything look good. If you've seen movies in Hollywood with, um, I don't know, people like Chris Pratt, you can probably see that as well, too. Just kidding. But I'm not kidding, actually. Anyways, <laughs> for this long-winded thing, I just want to say I really appreciate you all, guys, and everybody who follows me from the beginning or if you started the follow me just a couple weeks ago or even a couple days ago i really really appreciate it it means a lot to me uh, i do want to make this a long term project i do want to make it a long term uh goal and part of my i guess career if you want to put it that way this is not the only thing i want to do though i have other ideas i want to make a media company i want to expand beyond digital media I would love to produce stuff from movies to games to TV shows. I, I, I want those things, right? Um, I do have a background in acting as well, too. I don't want to go back to acting, but I love the behind the scenes of that stuff. I love the behind the scenes of uh, creating um, art in that regard, of creating uh, movies and creating um, TV shows. I'm very interested in the behind the scenes producing aspect of it. So that is one of my goals that I have long term is that. And I'm also working in a little project with my good friend, Super Manny. So you will see a lot of me in the next couple of years, obviously. And this channel is not going anywhere. The channel will continue here. I have big plans for the channel as well, too. And as we continue to grow, it would allow me to continue to grow the content as well, too. Right now, it's just limited to what I can do due to the fact that it's, you know, I'm just funding whatever I can with what I have. And uh, yeah, but 
in the future as we grow and there's more subscribers as members um, ad revenue all those things will go into funding more and bigger videos and bigger projects that i have but again thank you from the bottom of my heart for the 1000 subscribers i could have not done it without you i without you i wouldn't be here and yeah i just it means a lot all right i'll catch you all in the next video and next time bye bye